This is Sexy Funny Raw, where we chat all about the world of sex, from dating and relationships all the way to the adult industry itself. I'm Sylvia Sage, and this is my Porn Spective, answering all the questions you weren't even brave enough to ask Google. Get ready, because Sexy Funny Raw starts now. Listen to that applause. Listen, there's so many people so excited about you guys. this show. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Sexy Funny Raw with myself, Sylvia Sage, and my sexy co-host, Mr. Alexander. Not so sexy after COVID. I can't get rid of the stupid COVID weight. Like, what the hell? <laughs> no, it's everyone. It's, so everyone oh, is on, like a so- little... No, I am putting on weight. I'm actually trying to put on weight right now. That's what I'm doing. I have a new meal plan that's coming to my house. Are you trying to put on weight? Oh, you poor thing. Life must be tough. I'm gonna tell you all about this meal plan. Actually, it's really just beer exciting. and hamburgers. No, it's a whole like it's a it's healthy. I promise. I do promise. Okay, so today's this is perfect for today's episode because it's lessons learned. What? What? So we're going to be talking lessons learned about the porn industry um, with two of our very exciting guests, uh, Mr. Nathan Bronson. Hello. And Mr. Michael Boston. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me go ahead and introduce you to uh, our guest to my right here, Mr. Nathan Bronson. Uh, Nathan is known for his boyish good looks and, <laughs> and amazing acting chops, as well as being a favorite of the ladies on and off set. That is very true. Uh, he was a quick rising star. A dirty blonde Scorpio has a bad boy streak with his piercings, tats, and extremely high sex drive. And some tats we've had to have removed. Yeah. Uh, before entering the adult <laughs> arena, Nathan was a chef and a stuntman, which he still does very much of. And I've heard you've been doing new things in the stunt arena, so I'm interested about hearing that. So welcome, my good friend, Mr. Nathan Bronson. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> ow, ow. From one bad boy of porn to another bad boy of porn from my side of the porn world michael boston has uh, become a quick fan favorite due to his uh uh, assets. <laughs> That's all I'm good for. <laughs> he actually hails from England a little bit. Uh, in his short time in the biz, he has filmed with just about every name you could mention. Um, how did he get that booty? Maybe how? it has to do nice. with his years mm. of competitive ballroom dance. Who knows? Um, if you ever want to skip leg day, just check out his Instagram. Mm. You'll be doing <gasps> leg day uh, trust. He is a multiple industry award winner <sighs> and nominee. Please welcome Michael Boston. Oh my God, Michael. That picture of you, that like workout 80s picture they just that had. so Fun, I want to lick every inch of you in that. Like, such a hot <laughs> fucking photo. It was like Good for like for a booty. You. Like, the whole scenario was like this yeah, booty look at like, that. workout thing. It Thank just takes you. so much better pictures on the so gay hot. side, man. Yes, <laughs> I agree. Us. Yeah. Well, the straight side's about her. Yeah. Yes. No, dude, I had uh, yes. Nick Fit true. on set the other day, and he was uh, doing pretty boys for me, and he's showing yeah. all the nice pose. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, this way? Okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. Yeah, you guys never get that. Fuck no. But you get them on if you are on a um, cover with us, then they do. Yeah, then wait, you're in the I photo. I put you it's in not front the of same. me, yeah. and I just stare at yeah. you. Yeah, yeah that's true. That yeah. is very true. All yeah. the gay Lust boys in porn look amazing. And you guys are so hot. And then they'd be like, what? It's like, what the hell? Yeah. It's well, I will. Starvation. S- That's how you look good in a photo. Just oh. really be hungry. I will. And then, like, say I look no. back, and then you're like, "Oh my god, I was so hungry that day, but look how beautiful I look." I, I don't was think starving. I don't think straight porn guys have always been hot. I think that we're That's in a new true. world of genre where now they're good looking men, but it has not always. I mean, we have been the Ron like Jeremys, that. and yes. now we have like Nathan Bronson. Yeah, and you have people in our industry who I won't name names, even though I fucking hate you, mm. um, uh, <laughs> Mr. Alec. Mm, whatever. I don't even care. It's Alex Jett, and I hate the kid. Uh, so anyway, it's people <laughs> like him. On that note. <laughs> so it's people like him, and I'm like, he's got to fade out of our industry, because now only fans. What's so. wrong with him? Oh, he's just disgusting, and he's a little, he's a little runt of a man, and he has this huge ego and a no hairline, and I'm like, where is the ego coming from? I don't he either get looks it. Twelve or forty? Yeah, he looks twelve in between Hot. twelve and forty. <laughs> Welcome to West Hollywood. It's and, like, are they twelve? And or he 40? has a horrible, horrible attitude, and he just yeah. like really awful to women. Ew. So I just despise Ew. him as a human. But I think to myself, like men like him have to go away because like now we have OnlyFans, and we are the ones directing each and every one of our porns. No. So now we are only shooting Setting with people like high. this. You know, like, I'm not having that kid come over to my house, but Nathan, you can come over anytime you want. <laughs> well, I should go with your cats. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I have All to say, th- there is that weird disparity. Like, in, in gay porn, you know, everybody's relatively attractive, whatever your tastes are. Mm. But, like, I still watch browsers. Like, I just, because, whatever. you watch for the dude. No, I, I, 
No, you storyline. Yeah, 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 no, no, I love story big line? fake tits. <laughs> storyline. Oh, and you like big fake tits? Okay, I, I love to watch like, a hot guy fuck something. Yes, yeah, same. That's hot. But then, then same. I see the ugliest guys with these hot women with huge tits, and it does not make sense mm. how a woman has to pretend like. And it doesn't make sense. It's like, she's so hot. Why would they just throw scraps? Yes. Do guys watching just don't care or they want to see an ugly guy because it gives them hope? I uh, think sometimes it gives them hope. But I don't, can uh, quote sorry. one of the directors that yell at me all the time, get your yeah. face out of the shot, Nathan. <laughs> so, <laughs> But don't some, like, aren't there some straight male performers that work for free just because they want to fuck girls? No, I don't think any of them work for free. No, but no, they I've work for pennies. That somewhere. Oh, pennies yeah. When they start out in the industry, what's a guy start at? 400? I started at about four. Mm-hmm. 400. Yeah, about same. four. And then, then I think my second or third year got to five, mm-hmm. then six. and it, um, it goes up. Yeah, it just keeps, guys, it goes yeah. up. But like, I know a lot of dudes who are starting out right now. They're like, thousand. No. I, I know there's a couple of y- dudes who are starting out and they're like asking a thousand. I'm like, Good luck with bitch. that. And Fuck you. We don't even know if your penis can get hard all the yeah, time it's yet. Like, dude, you might be failing every like yeah. every fifth scene. Why it's would like, they pay you a thousand dollars if they don't even know if you can keep your penis up? Yep. It's crazy, but whatever. Unless you're using the shot. Yeah, <laughs> it's way different on the pay scale for your guys' oh, side. Mm-hmm. Jealous. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> do you want a douche for an hour? I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna. You say. know, I've heard about some of the pay scales, and it's made me think. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> could you My. take it in the ass? Could I? Yeah. Have uh, you? Have you let anyone peg you? Have not. Have no not peggings? been uh, blessed by it yet. No. Yeah. Yet. Blessed by yet. it. Blessed by it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being the key. Hey, word. I don't know how weird the future is going to be. I don't know. Fucking. Well, <laughs> and the whole point of porn now is all inclusivity, and so it's not as you Too know taboo. Uh, yeah. If there's like a gay guy that's that's fucking, or if there's a straight guy who's fucking a gay guy, mm. that's not as taboo as it was. So yeah. who knows you know, if you might get that phone call? You say that, but I still uh, know there's a couple sets where I've heard uh, girls like, "I don't want to work with him because he does buy scenes." Oh, mm. that does happen. I've heard of that. Yeah. Too. Yeah. I. I know that's. Uh, uh, that's actually so to disgusting. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way. I mean, if, if people are having sex, they're having sex. The odds of getting one thing from a person who prefers anal sex as opposed to prefers vaginal sex is no higher. I mean, that's the odds of you getting anything are already the odds of you getting something from having sex with a person, whether mm-hmm. they have sex with men or women, is not outside of that. Mm-hmm. I have sex with other men, and they're not refusing to have sex with me. Hmm. Yeah. So I, I just well, and, and I have anal sex with other men, and if they're not refusing to have sex with yeah. me. Those same women, I, they're fucking me, and I'm fucking other men, but they won't fuck a dude who fucks other dudes. It's that's just a, that's stupid. a fucked up mentality. It makes no sense because it's like you're yeah. Gonna, yeah. <clears throat> no, it's yeah. So but two straight stupid. dudes can be inside one vagina. Yes. and that's okay. It's like well, do you know fine. what you're touching? We're playing yeah. tickle dicks. Yeah, <laughs> tickle dicks. Is yeah. that a thing? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. The new board game by Milton Bradley. It's just funny to me when we label one thing for men and another for women. It's the same thing when it goes to like being proud of a man for sleeping with a lot of women and then slut shaming a woman for the same shit. It's just the opposite effect with dicks and asses <laughs> you know so it's just a weird weird thing well and i do make the joke but like as a gay man i understand that a straight man wouldn't want to do a gay or a bind scene like you either can or you can't well, right like some gay guys will never be able to sleep with a woman they right. just won't yeah mm. and there's even people in our industry uh she's not currently working right now um because she's pregnant but um emma has Hot. told me hicks on several yeah. occasions she cannot have sex with someone she's not turned on by so she's super um picky she's, about who she does scenes with yeah. because she has to physically be turned on by them to have sex with them like in order to like get wet but like i mean not not me i can have sex with yeah, well, I'm not to do. <laughs> I about to say she's had sex with me many times. She don't like me at all. <laughs> lies, <laughs> lies, all lies. No, and you have filmed with a wide variety of of guys, mm. and you always say very into it. Um, is it's, ca- it's called the performance for a reason, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no, but has there ever been that point you're just like, I am just not into it. You just close your eyes and like, no, I don't close my eyes. <laughs> I've oh my god, I always close my eyes. <laughs> well, I guess sometimes I close my eyes. It depends on what it is, what we're doing. What are we? What are we selling here? Yeah. <laughs> what are we selling? <laughs> but I, have, have you ever gotten that point where you're just like, this, this no, is just not going to work? No, because if I'm if I'm going to be in that mentality, I can't perform. Top out. Yeah. Have you ever stared outside and were like, oh, I wish I was out there? <laughs> no, no. I'm sure you have. <laughs> I've done that so many times. <laughs> yeah. I had the PA staring. Once guys just like us, oh, just the girls being a piece of shit and just doing oh, nothing, and I'm sucks. just like staring out the window. I'm like, 
<laughs> Those birds look like that. <laughs> so I don't fun. mind doing everything because I know I'll do it right. So mm-hmm. there you go. Plus, you, you you always steal the focus of a scene too. So if you're like with, you I'll might be like, I might as well be the star of this scene too. It's because you have that super flirty, like just like bad presence. Boy, um, yeah, yeah, bad yeah. Boy yeah, yeah. Bad boy porn. Bad boy porn. Super, super just, sexual. Just can't help it. Yeah. See, What's it's that? like you seem like the person who'd be into it because it's like I work with people that are like that, and the day's always dope. Yeah. Uh, but I'm sure there's guys on your side that just. They come just, in, are pissed off. They're on their yeah, phones. Just, they're having a fight with their boyfriend. Mm. Whatever. Oh yeah. yeah, I wish that was the case. That's Need their, not the case. No. <laughs> a lot of them are straight. Oh, mm. you forget that a lot of like straight mm. men mm. are doing a lot of gay porn strictly mm. because of the income. Mm. But I've heard that some performers like that because then they come in, they do their job, and I do like no that drama. sometimes. But like sometimes it's it it, 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 it can, can be a double awkward. edged sword because mm. like you'll have some that are like, hey, let's like just fuck some shit up. And it's like yes, let's fuck some shit up, and then you have others that are like. They feel like they have to brag about how many women they slept with. I'm like, I don't, I don't. Uh, yeah. it's like, we like get they have it. to like reinforce their masculinity on yeah. me. I'm right. like, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, right. I, I don't care what you do in your free time. Just like you're like, I don't care who you're fucking. I want to go. Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to get the paycheck and I want to get over this. I'm so starving. I need a burrito yes. right now. <laughs> yes. Are you starving right now, sir? You just came from a scene. Are you oh, like yeah. dying of hunger? Yeah. yeah. I'm so sorry. I also, wish I had I something this, to offer uh, you. Yo- Yohimbi. Have you ever tried that? Yohimbi. Yohimbi. It's a African tree bark, but apparently it's a it's a aphrodisiac. It's an aphrodisiac. It also like speeds up your dude. Wait, oh. What's the name? Yo Himbi. <laughs> Yo Himbi. But it makes me so fucking hungry. Sometimes. Wait, does it? Oh, I don't is it that. make your dick? So it's for your dick to you know, get hard? No, not. I, I swear to God, not everything makes my dick get hard. I think it just pushes blood around some place. But that's Stop. what it's meant for. It's yeah. It just moves the blood where it needs to go sometimes. But okay. I wish it did. Like so took f- one. It was like ha ha. No. This is the first time you've taken it. Oh no, I've taken it many times. Oh, so it just makes you really hungry. Hungry, hyper. Oh, I wish I could give also you. Also, feels a little cold. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> like your body feels cold. Uh, it, it just feels a little. You know, like because the blood is rushing to somewhere else. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You don't feel cold to oh, the no, touch. Oh no, no, I'm hot as fuck. Oh, okay. I'll sweat. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Nathan, I want to ask you because on your on your uh, self produced videos, mm. you started to do more ass centric. Oh yeah, yeah, videos where it's just you like playing with your ass. Is that <laughs> because it. you know that you have a male fan base as well? And also, have you had to be more cognizant? Because straight guys don't pay attention to cleaning their butts or anything about that. Mm-hmm. Like they just don't. Mm. Um, it's not a stereotype. It's it's, it's fact. true. Um, so where where did that shift kind of come from? And now, do you have to be more cognizant of the are health you, of your are butt? You cleaning? I got a bidet. Oh, you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you have, do you I have, have a, bidet? a bidet too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love After it. After the great toilet paper shortage of uh, yeah. 2020, a lot of people, <laughs> yeah. You get a bidet and you get a bidet. <laughs> yeah. But uh, under your seats, you all have a bidet. <laughs> 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 uh, but it's like, dude, it's, the problem was it got to a point where I was on set and then like they'd randomly just be like, oh, uh, she's going to eat your ass. I'm like, dude, tell me. It's like I would have oh shaved. I would have yeah. like, just done a lot more. Right. But it's like half time you don't, half time they do. So it's like when I'm doing a scene, it's like, oh, yeah. Like, at my sucks, own stuff, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to shave. I'm going to do everything nice, especially if we're going to do a lot of ass eating. Yeah. Um, but I started doing more just because, one, I like it. I just don't like being in the positions that you have to be yeah. in and filming it because I, you never can feel I, I just never got a good spot where I'm like, I feel yeah. solid and comfortable right now. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something about straight men. I agree with you. So there's, there's straight men's assholes are never lickable. They have if you touch way your too ass, much that means hair. You're gay. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's just way too much. There's so much hair there's down must. there. It's yeah. so thick. There's just an odor. There's They don't clean. And even if they, they, they do wipe, they're not cleaning no. the inside. No. Yeah. And you don't realize that right on that rim, right where you can't see, is shit. So I need you to like. We'll draw it out too. Yeah, I mean, I take a whole dildo and put uh, with a wet wipe up my butt and swirl it around for you guys. That's smart. That's an idea. And you don't do that that in your next video. You know, like (laughs) you guys aren't even putting a finger up there. Like you're not even testing it on the inside. Because to Michael's point, the minute you self-explore your hole, then you must be gay. gay. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. I don't want to put a finger up there. That's gay. But I want you to put your tongue on it. I'm like, if I put my tongue down there and it smells, I guarantee you, I'm coming right back to your mouth with. With it and I'm just gonna be like, This is oh. you. Oh, god, this hey. is you. Hey, at a certain point, it's what I'm asking for. <laughs> Bring it here. I just see if I did it myself, I feel weird, but if I you do it, then you put the poop oh. in my mouth. And I'm like, Ugh. Nathan, we, we, we had this conversation, and I want to know from, from a straight man, gay, straight, gay, or sorry, straight porn star point of view. <laughs> If you come on a girl huh. and then she has like on her mouth, like, oh, would you good question? Yeah, because 
we didn't get a definitive yeah. answer. Would you kiss her? Have you tasted your own cum as part of the scene? Oh, uh, so here, uh, this is a question I've <laughs> asked a lot, oh, and uh, this yeah. is why I'm so fascinated. I, uh, and this is a lot of girls will come up to me like during scenes, like, "Oh, but it's your cum. I don't care." I'm like. It's not that I give a fuck. I don't care if it's in my mouth or it's yours. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about a lot of things. But in this industry where I've actually had girls tell me, you know what I like about you, Nathan? You don't do that gay shit. Straight what? up, tell me that. Oh, wow. um, so you try to put up and not do things on camera that people are going to portray. I did a, uh, a scene for uh, Deeper where I was the sub and I ended up fucking both the chicks. After that, I got hit up by all these girls like, do you want to get fucked in the ass? I'm like, no. What? I don't. I fucked both of them. I'm not sure if you remember the scene. Right. But it's like it, you do like a little bit and people take a mile. Mm. So it's like, so do I care? No, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do, do I do it? I try not to. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. But in your personal life, are you okay with her sucking your dick and then coming up to you to kiss you with her cum? With yeah, your oh, cum I, if on I her can, mouth? I'm going to try to come inside her every fucking time. Um, no, you I'm like. You breed her. Uh, would mm. I care? <laughs> if, if, as long as she don't fucking just shoot the giant load in my mouth, um, like, I'll kiss, still make out with her. But I've had dudes uh, masturbate and then shoot into their mouth, laying on their back for me, and I don't mind that. I think that's pretty cool. I accidentally did that one time. Yeah. How'd you like it? Uh, well, it was a surprise because I didn't know it was going to shoot that far. I was like, uh, up, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> it just, uh. It's always now a fun you know surprise when you get on your own face. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Have you ever come in your own face, Alexander, for yeah. masturbating? Uh, no. You've never shot yourself? No. I don't sit there like like this, though. I I, I, I feel I, like it's when you're on your back. I lay right? down. I like, yeah. I like to have an experience. I, I, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. And I'm Latino, so there's a lot. It's like where a pinata. Are, where are you masturbating? <laughs> All over the place, like wh- so, wherever I can. But laying down occasionally, right? Yeah, but I'm not like doing it towards me. Oh, I'm, no? No, because I like the feel away. of it. For, yeah, I like. Um, I don't like the stroke. Down. I like the stroke. Everybody, yeah. <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> you get some coming. You get some coming. He's very theatrical about his masturbation habits. Yeah, yeah it's okay. real fun. Yeah. Lighting candles. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh my yeah, god. The, <laughs> the thing okay. about guys is like we can jerk off anywhere. Yeah. Like we could literally, if we're in the car and we just happen, it's like oh, it's I've real definitely fast. done that before. Yeah. I've like jerked off while driving down the freeway. Mm. Just yes, whatever, I'm gonna care. start looking in a mince. I've done it while <laughs> delivering you pizzas. Would be really Really? <laughs> and then <laughs> handed someone a pizza with your masturbation hands? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that must have been a good pizza. I was going to say, Alexander wants you to deliver yeah. to his it house. It comes 30 tonight. minutes or less. Yeah. <laughs> tastes a little extra salty. <laughs> okay. But, what, but we guys, we uh, this is about lessons learned. So I want to yeah. know, what is the biggest lesson you think you have learned since being in pornography? You want to go first? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Uh, okay. Uh, biggest lesson I've learned, uh, I'd probably say that I don't go at people anymore by their looks or what they do. It's Ooh, more, I will oh, I will get turned on by someone's personality more than anything because yeah. I've met some of the most beautiful women that I would love nothing more than just throw them off a fucking roof. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> I've met people that I wouldn't be into at all mm-hmm. and just talking with them like, oh man, I would actually like to hang out with you. And you just, it's, I just like people a lot yeah. more but i also hate people a lot more <laughs> i don't want to be around as many people as i used to just because i'm not sure if that's me getting older or uh the fact that i'm just around all day trying to uh um uh, put out fires and just like no you're beautiful it's no i fire. actually understand Ew. that uh, that makes sense to me i feel yeah. the same way i before porn i was very like i had one type of guy that i was gonna fuck and that was it and then since porn i'm like I find something like random men on the street. I'm like, I would fuck you because I like your shoes. I would fuck you because I like your facial hair. <laughs> you I would laugh. fuck you because you have pretty eyes. Yeah, like whatever. Like I can find things in almost anyone yep. that I'm like attracted to at this point. And I could never do that before. Yeah. How about you? Because in the gay community, we're a little bit more superficial, I yeah. think. Even when we like, say that we're body positivity and all that. No, we're I've really never not. said that in my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't I need, bam. <laughs> I moved you don't to need Los to, Angeles with like a mild eating here. disorder and maybe some mental illness. That's the requirement to move to Los Angeles. So. <laughs> that, that is very true. Welcome to L.A. Mm-hmm. All right. Now go to the gym whore. Maybe throw up a little bit. <laughs> Here's a toothbrush. <laughs> you disgust <some> cocaine. me. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is that and now they closed it down, but it was the 24 hour fitness in West Hollywood it's like you go to the gym to get yeah it closed uh, the last day of November everybody cried there was a funeral everything right Um, but the thing is it's like mopping up comp Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) that's literally probably clogged everything but you go to the gym to get healthy right I would step into that gym all the time and it'd be like you know there's 
you know, there's a, there's a husky person oh. here. It's like, bitch, why do you think I'm at the gym? Right, right, right. Because everybody's right, like, right, right. selfie, selfie. Yeah. Literally, people ask me to get out of their selfie. But oh. you know that they're all on roids, right? Oh, my right? God. But still, and they're, all you know, on they're there four hours yeah. a day. I'm there for four minutes. But still, yeah. it's like, I, at least I'm trying. Yes. Like, why? Just put your headphones in, babe, and ignore them. Yeah. I mean, I, that, you know, I don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. But it was yeah. just funny to me. It's like, well, this is why I'm at the gym. And they're yeah. looking at you hating on you because they hate themselves for the same yeah. fucking thing. Yeah, true. Yeah, so true. Yeah. Oh, I think you said it's not true. I'm like, yes, it is. No, it no, is it's, yeah. When I think really mean things about others in my head, I'm like, oh, I, I'm doing that because I hate myself right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. What do you think the biggest lessons you've learned? Um, th- I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I haven't learned anything. Just to be a bigger whore than I already was. Well, that is a lesson, honestly. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the things that I like. I wish I would have mm-hmm. known about this long, long before yeah. I did. I got in at 30, and I mm. my only regret is that I didn't do this sooner, is yeah. that I have so much college debt that I mm. could have totally avoided. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know? yeah. I'm really glad I didn't get in when I was younger. 26 was a good time for me because yeah. then it's like, mm. if I got in when I was 18, I would have fucking died from... It's- Drugs and yeah. peer pressure, a hundred percent. Yeah, maybe you might be right. Because in my twenties, I was much more impressionable. Which is funny because if you enter the the world as as a as a woman mm-hmm. in porn at twenty six, like you're already a milf. Like yeah. you yeah. you passed your whole peak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, what's funny to me is I know you're not twenty six anymore, but mm. uh, I still see you as this like this twenty six year old kid. You will forever <laughs> in my because that's when I met you. I think we yeah. got in. We started the same year, two thousand fifteen. Uh, uh, fourteen. Yeah, I'm, sorry, I'm fourteen. S- well, I hit six years November nineteenth. So yeah. Oh, okay. So not quite. I've yeah. been in a little bit longer, but you, we. St- yeah, we started as a side fifteen yeah. around the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I always felt like that was like the. I've always known you as the young buck, and I forget you age right along with me. So Yeah, I'm 33 now. I know, it's so crazy. <laughs> 2015, I had just graduated from high school. Oh, the year God. before. <laughs> oh, my God. That's when I got into porn. These Isn't newbies. crazy? These young kids. Yeah, 2014, November. It was like, no, it wasn't November. It was like October. It doesn't matter. Mm. It was a long fucking time ago, and here What's we are What's a now. month? I know. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get too far into the show because ugh, we feel like we're sliding through this. So, um... We do do one word of the day, mm. and since it's a sex education podcast, I like to find one word that I don't necessarily know the meaning of so we can learn something on the show together. So I'm going to say the word, and then I'm going to let you guys guess what the word is, mm. and if you know, let me know. If not, which you won't, I'll just tell you what it is. This is Sylvia Sage's sexy, funny, raw word of the day. Do you know what it is? Today's word is... Dacrophilia. Did I pronounce it correctly? Mm-hmm. Yes. Dacrophilia. What would you think this is? Now, this is some sort of sexual, and I'll give you oh. a, a hint. Is this it is food? Sexual fetish. Is it food or is it like daiquiris? Yeah, is it, like, is it alcohol? Yeah. It's not daiquiris. Oh. But is it like food? Is it like a food thing? It is not food. Oh, okay. Is it like a dessert thing? That's a good guess. Is it shoving food in your vagina? No, it is not that either. Food thing, so no. just oh, it's not that. a food thing. No, oh, it's not sorry. a food thing. Oh, sorry. Entire. But that's okay. I like that you really Daquiri. gave it some uh, daiquiri. thought. The daiquiri. Daiquiri. I, I, I like that. That's something I could get into. Is it- now, now I will say daiquiris might lead to this for some people. So what it actually <laughs> is is a fetish uh, for witnessing others cry. Often a fetish oh. of sadists who enjoy dominating submissive partners to the point of tears. Yeah, I've heard of that. Now it was like I was you like, have. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Because there was a point where. Uh, I remember what my ex and me were breaking up and I got hard because she was crying, but it was mostly just because. So you're oh a God. God. Listen, 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 yeah. listen, listen. It was mostly just because she showed no emotion ever. <laughs> and she, we were breaking oh. up. She gave me something finally. Um, and then she told me that and I was like, no, because it doesn't <laughs> happen every other time. Just, wow. And she was like, you sick fuck. Yeah. I'm sad. And, and she now said you that after we me. had sex right after that. But, oh, so uh, you fucked her because she was crying? No, I, f- I got hard and then she fucked me because she was trying to keep me in her life. And mm-hmm. she's a terrible person. Interesting. You still didn't say no, though. I did yeah. say no. But, yeah. you know, I was it was before I got into porn and I was horny all the time. Mm. And now I'm you know, sad and dead. <laughs> sad and dead. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you've, you've done some rough stuff. Um, in, in porn, <laughs> some, some fetish crying? stuff, but have no. you? But it's never gotten into that kind of like BDSM, right? No, I don't think so. No, I feel like I've done some sort of yeah. crying in a 
Just put Word. a big enough dick in my mouth, I'll start crying. <laughs> no, but th- there, there <laughs> is, butt. tears will start flowing. <laughs> yeah. But no, there is that fetish in, in gay porn where it's, it's face fucking and it's extreme, oh. where they won't stop and the guy's oh. gagging and it's then starts crying. It's in straight tears and then you get snot, but it's just, yeah. it's not cute. No, I, it is not cute. Mascara's running. <laughs> my <laughs> lipstick's down here. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Nothing about it is okay. The moment a man mm. touches my head while I am giving, while I am giving him head, I am just like, I immediately mm. just like lose my mind. Yeah. I'm like, do not. I'm just trying head. to get your hair out of the yeah. shot. God, <laughs> that's different. But if you like You're grab, grab me and, push. and yeah, the grabbing and the pushing, mm-hmm. I'm like, I have teeth and I will bite your. Yeah, but doesn't that mean that he's really into it and that's his way of no, connecting? It's not about being into it. No, control. You're, you're, and also, you're fucking them in the face and yeah. they're trying to throw up on you. Like, and can I breathe? Yeah, like, that can too. I breathe, please? It's so hard to breathe through your nose. Yes. You have a giant dick down the back of your throat. You feel like you're like literally mm-hmm. about to die with a penis mm-hmm. in your mouth, and you're like. <laughs> like, what Isn't is that happening? funny? That's a sex sound now. <laughs> yeah. ASMR with Silver. Let Silver's me hear that throat like, music. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's just got hard off that sound. Uh, you know, if it makes you feel any better, I don't like molars. You know, they they, right. they they hurt my dick, and right. mine's not even the biggest. So it's like, <laughs> and you feel that grinding on your teeth. Yeah. I can't Who's even doing imagine. That? No, because he's saying if you're like shoving their face oh, in, you can yeah. feel their All molars. Of us can, like unhinge our jaw, like you. <laughs> Goddamn snake. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> anyway. Uh, now, Michael, like, you are known. Deny it. <laughs> you're known to be with a lot of hug men. Have you ever been with somebody small in your real life? I mean, I don't discriminate based on size. Is that true? It's a good man. It's a good man. I um. mean, let's just be honest, though. Because there's, there's that whole thing like size doesn't matter. I mean, come on. It let's, matters to an extent. To though. an extent. Yeah. But I, I don't need 10 inches. No, no one if does. If anything, I don't want. No, no 10 one inches does. is a show. It yeah, is. that's a yeah. circus trick that's for me. Work. I agree with that statement. If yeah. it's, I think like I don't know. As long as you, like, as long as it feels good, as long as like maybe it can like hit my prostate. As long as you and, like, can as feel as, it. Yeah. Yeah, but basically. you have to get past yeah. the much. And as long as you're hot, and as long as you can like kiss well, I don't yeah. care. Oh, same what kissing is, is I think so. It's, uh, make out with me really, really well. Oh, kissing I don't care how is the big it is. biggest. I think it was uh, Nina Hartley who said it's like you know it's not if it's birthday cock it's really massive because you want to try something for your birthday you know yeah everything else is like when it's under that just boyfriend cock yeah fuck you every day yeah. Yeah, so I want to fuck every day type of yeah. penis. Yeah, I don't want to hurt just me. Just once a day or? Well, no, I mean, yeah. Most <laughs> I will tell you, though, recently, like, I felt like a little um, sex drive shamed. I was like, yes, because I was like with a guy and we had sex multiple times a day. That's but hot. then after we would have sex, sometimes I would just like wasn't completely done and I would masturbate even when he was in the Good, room. That's hot. Come Thank on. Thank you. I would no, think but so he too. Would, no, he probably took a, it like he didn't do enough. Like he didn't I do think, his job. Yeah, yeah I think that's, that's I can see right. why, but like. From a gay perspective, I'm like, get a bitch. Thank you. <laughs> like, That's how it, I bitch. feel. I'm like, well, I would feel like, oh, I didn't do it. No. See, but I think you would want to go, yeah, have all the orgasms you yeah, can. Yeah, that's hot. Like, yes. like, be supportive of your partner yes. just coming all the time. Thank you. I think that's sexy. But See, a lo- yeah. lot of guys don't come at this from the idea of, uh, you know that's okay because yeah. I need to finish you off yes. and you need to be done. Uh, that's true. Uh, yes. because well, that's where toxic masculinity comes. Yes, from. <laughs> it's true. But it's like it's like yeah. I try to tell a lot of people. It's like, dude, when you come at this, ask her questions. If you want to masturbate yeah. again and I can't do yes. it again, that's okay. But, but you and, like, need to have that. Make it a group yeah. thing. Yeah, make it like a together thing. Like, like do things for I'll, her. Well, like, I'll what can I do to you? What can I do to assist you? I even you. asked him. I that's said, can you come make out with me while I masturbate? That's sexy as fuck. Like, do something. That's hot. He's I ready to go it. right I, now. I'm yes. like, oh, <laughs> Someone come whisper dirty it. things in my ear while I jerk off. But also, like, do you feel like growing up in London had? I didn't grow up there. Oh, no, he was well, like born sorry. there, and then they moved like oh, I, r- really okay. fast. Well, yeah, wait, but your parents did though. My dad lived there. Yeah. So, do you feel like your dad was more open-minded because he had a different my outlook? My biological father is bi. Oh, I love oh, that. Yeah, never I met him, that but yeah. oh, how do you not, how did you not meet him? But you know that he's bi. Because my mom was dating him. Oh, okay. okay. Got it. <laughs> yeah. In no contact whatsoever? No. You don't even know? No. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Well, you know what? You turned out fucking awesome regardless. Oh, it you're really sweet. doesn't Thank matter. You. Yeah. <laughs> and your lips are so good. Like, Thank I don't even you. know what They're to real. do. They're real. I know I want them on my face. <laughs> no, I've had people literally, I like, I've had directors them. be like, are your lips real? I'm like, yes. 
Yes, yes, they are. So I know. Weird. Real ass and a real lips. Ugh, I don't that know is a question. In fact, yeah, your ass. The, the times you've been on my show, uh, tons of messages. It's like, ask them if it's real. Ask them if it's real. It's like, it's number real. one, it's not your business. Number two, if are you jerking off to it, then it's doing it what it needs matter. to do. I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> I feel like plastic surgery is everybody's business. I feel like yeah. if you get anything done, you should tell people. Oh, hell they yeah. Because then they don't have like unrealistic sense. expectations. Yes. Of, yeah, yeah. Which, yes, 100%. I do. Um, I'm just saying. I think yeah. so. I would tell anybody anything mm. I've ever had done, mm-hmm. even wastefully. Yeah. I mean, I don't think you should lie about it, but I also don't think it's like, guess what? I just, you know, yeah, got yeah, Botox. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, you look great. Yeah, we can tell. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we always know when somebody really yeah. gets You look like you're a guest yeah. in your own face. <laughs> I haven't yeah. seen you move your eyebrows in three hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let that That's settle for I a minute before you decide to go on camera, huh? <laughs> 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 Jesus. You just got a chemical uh, peel. You look like Darth Maul. Go Can huh? you imagine? <laughs> you know that they tell you to like uh, that you can't even like lay down like mm-hmm. four hours after Botox or whatever. Like mm-hmm. you have to like stay like really? sitting straight up because it can like move on your face. Oh my god! Can you imagine oh, if you had sex no. after getting Botox and you just like wake up and you have like all these like weird like just your face perma fuck face? <laughs> yeah. just... uh, what happened? I had sex right out of Botox and I moved everywhere. It's sling blade. <laughs> the porn. <laughs> You know, oh, but yeah. we were talking about gay asses or uh, fake asses in gay porn. Um, there's a few stars that we both know that I'm have sure had, there yeah. Are a few. And there's one that it's so ridiculously mm-hmm. awful. It looks like cups on his and butt, he's, well, and he's not even like a the bottom. Thigh and the ass don't mm-hmm. really meet. There's a giant. There's a giant yeah. shelf at the bottom mm-hmm. of your ass. Well, it's apparently like, when he was doing a scene, it shifted like mm-hmm. sideways. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. Heard of that? That's an implant. That's not yeah. even like a yeah. B, uh, yeah. whatever it is. That's like a cheap job in Mexico where they just shove whatever in there. But it actually. Turn. Oh God! Ooh, Dude, that gives me the I was fucking this chick not too long ago, and I was, they're like spank her ass. And I was like, so I start spanking it, and I'm I'm hitting it, and I'm like, this should make a sound, <laughs> and it's not. I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, do it again. I'm like, and I'm fucking going at it, and there's no sound coming. Out. I'm like, what was it? it I, I guess it was a hardened implant or something. She has a oh. soundboard for now. <laughs> yeah, but I'm Still, like, it would be insulated. This, I don't know. It, it, it was skin? just make the sound it just made that instead of a Ooh. like i was like what the fuck do you like capsulate because that happens with breast implants yeah like the yeah. muscle encapsulates and then it like crushes it Hmm. I've never, I never watched any like surgery thing ever. I just, oh. no, I can't. I'm just kidding. Oh, I, oh, I was gonna I say, I will watch the hell the, out of the it. Shit like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's so interesting. <laughs> it's no. like, oh, okay, like that's why her tits look fucked up. Because, I can't like, watch Grey's Anatomy. Her muscles no. are crushing the yeah. implant. I applied for botched, but they didn't. But also, like. I wanted because my boobs were done 11 years ago and I'm like can it's, I get a botch from 11 years ago hell yeah <laughs> and basically just a reboot. I think it's like come on, I want to have free, free boobs yeah that's yeah. what it is <laughs> but I also said they could do my nose like while okay. I was there yeah, I was like not? do my nose and my boobs yeah, like I'll yeah. do that but don't you think if you ever had your nose done like it would really like your brand like it would really change the whole look of your face like remember when I like your I nose hope, I'm hopeful it will change the whole look my face. Why? Your face looks great. <laughs> Thank you. No, I but love like, your you, nose. you would be unrecognizable. Like uh, that uh, girl that was in Dirty Dancing, she went oh, and had her nose Jennifer done. Gray. Yeah, and then she never got booked after that yeah. because nobody knew who the hell she was. Oh, God, and scary. they wanted Baby from Dirty yeah, Dancing, and yeah. she even had a great nose. Yeah, yeah I liked her no, nose. that's exactly right. It was but interesting. It, was it wasn't weird. Yeah. No, it was just she didn't look like what... the Wicked Witch of the West. She was fine. Right. Yeah. She looked great. Right. I don't know. Yeah, I think it just also gets in your head, especially yeah. because how often do we see ourselves on camera and you're just well, like that, and also out like all imagine like seeing one or too many nasty comments about us. One hundred and ten percent. Super yeah. self conscious. The whole reason this whole thing started mm-hmm. was because I did a roast battle like five years ago, and oh. the guy made fun of my nose in the roast battle, yeah. and I was like, "That's it." Speaking of low hanging, and fruit. everyone, no, everyone that's, say, that's the easiest. That's yeah. the cheapest humor is fat jokes, yeah. looks joke. It's yeah. so it's not funny because it's, it's all been easy. said. Yeah, but when people laughed in the audience. I was like, everyone thinks it's true. Oh my no. god! You look gorgeous. <laughs> Don't oh, worry about you. it. Thank you, darling. I very much. Appreciate Plus, it. no man's fucking you because you have a nose. Yeah, that's true. I don't even no think man, men. No look man cares. I know. Your nose. vagina is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah thank see, you. Yeah. See, thank they don't you. even notice your. You could be Voldemort. Until you're no, there, no, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, true. Just two slits. <laughs> now, do you watch your own films? Yeah. Do, do you watch your own films? I, I like I'll see the I'll see the trailer trailers yeah. that's what I watch I see the trailer yeah. and then get re- the free yeah sorry sorry no no I never get I never get yeah. the whole movie they don't give a shit yeah. I barely they know don't when give it's, you the whole movie dude no. I don't know when it's coming out they barely put no. my name on it yeah. <laughs> yeah 
I don't yeah, even I get the full movies time. and yeah. I'm the star. Like yeah. th- I have done like full on feature films where I'm the star of the feature film and I don't own the movie. Yeah. Because they never so sent it to me. To me. I would have to go and physically like buy the movie. They now, give you, they give you guys some? Uh, no. Oh. At least not for me, but I'm not an exclusive. I don't know how maybe the exclusives get things. I think, I mean, but I've always had to buy my DVDs. Mm. There's this weird assumption about what happens with exclusives. I'm pretty sure they do sometimes get their videos, and they can watch them. They get a link. I've had it happen before. Mm. I've gotten a link if I asked for it, but I don't... If, mm. if they're forceful, but, you know, being yeah. part of CyberSocket, I'm now seeing what happens behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. It is astounding for as many years as I've watched porn yeah. and have had porn star friends, and now knowing the actual business... It's it's rough out there. It's Oh yeah, it's cutthroat. Yeah. It's a whole deal. And no one is looking out for you. Like, That's exactly no one. your agent. What I'm learning. Oh, please. Are you kidding <laughs> me? Not about you, you're a paycheck, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, they don't You're some easy, on. lazy money. Yeah. I, I've never understood why studios don't help uh, a star uh, write their bio and help them book for like a year for mm. in their first year because they don't know what's done or where you ask somebody for a bio and it's like, well, they don't know it, but that's just good business for a studio because if that porn star has a bio and they're getting booked at live appearances, then people are going to watch their movies more. Well, it just makes sense. I'll tell you why they don't, at least on our side, and this is what I would people say. People put on their OnlyFans? No, it's because <laughs> it's because the, the odds that they stick around in the industry for any length of time are so low oh, that yeah, they don't yeah. want to waste their time and their energy investing in these people. They think if they don't have the work capacity to mm. like drive and shrive then they don't care if they succeed anyway they'll mm-hmm. make their couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand dollars off of you in the beginning when you shoot for all the companies as a new person and then they let the companies decide if anybody ever wants to work with you again and if they don't fuck off and yeah. you know if they do then then they start investing in you and they start being kinder to you when they when you show to them you're gonna make them some money stick them in the meat grinder yeah mm. yeah <laughs> do, do, you, do you think hot. that's changing ah. though? <laughs> do you think that's changing i feel like from as, uh, this is from the gay uh perspective um that people are not coming and going as quickly do you think that's changed because of social media? A star is not just in a movie that you would have to go rent in the past, mm-hmm. and that's all you know. Now, if you like a star, you can go to their Twitter, their Only Instagram. Fans. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. you can incorporate that. So they are really building a brand. Yeah. And do you think that's helping Clothing them stay? It, no, <laughs> literally. It's so easy now. But to... you have to think back in the day, their brands were even bigger than ours now. Now it's so saturated. Uh, think about like back in the day, you know, Everyone everybody knew who Jenna James Tanya and... Tater, Jenna James. Yeah. And everybody knew who these really big names were because it was like you had you were a big deal. There were That's only true. so many porn stars. Now it's so saturated. It's just like I mean, I'm competing with girls on you know OnlyFans who have never done a single porn, and, and they're then making, they call themselves you know, porn stars, or right? Whatever. It's like, girl, yeah. be on set for eight to ten hours, <laughs> yeah. and then we can fucking talk, bitch. I yes. fucking dare you. Yeah. It's like, dude, I want to <laughs> see you starve. I want to see you wake up at yeah. five in the morning with a fucking right. hose in your hand and some depression. Yeah. 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 And was just be it? like, you know what? We're going to do this because I love what I do, but at the same time, God damn it. Right. <laughs> right. I said, this is okay. how Scorsese felt when, like, you know, like YouTube stars yes! came out. He's like, fuck He's you. He's Paul Logan. Yeah. You. yeah. Like, you, like, you just, like, get, like, a little hard. And you're like, okay, let me just film that. It's like two minutes. It's like, yeah. okay, cool. You fuck off and do that. Yeah. Or, man, you get these uh, new guys that come on just from, like, doing OnlyFans and they hit up all the girls yes. online. And now all the girls get pissed when you hit them oh, up online yeah, and yeah. I'm like so I never hit up any girls like on Twitter anymore I'm like well my Nathan Bronson though yeah, like, I feel like you could you. Dude, yeah. people don't know who the fuck I am because yeah. again the market is so saturated face, bitch. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so a lot of people don't know who the fuck I am it's like mm-hmm. I'll meet girls who like just come in and they're like hi I'm like yeah, I know. That's six years. Yeah. But then again, I just met a, a MILF that was uh, out for six years, and she was in the, the Hall of Fame. And I didn't know who she was because this yeah. industry just That's fucking flips people, people so fast. It's like, yeah. you know. Now, I will say that there is like a pocket of us who do work together all the time. Like, I'm always on a set with Nathan. Or, you know, there's a lot of people I see on a very regular basis. Also because I think the directors know we work well together. Yeah. So professional, you go to your job, right? Great content. You guys have really good chemistry, and right. that's it. Then you're done. Yeah, yeah. It's Just, e- yeah. it's easier that way too. But yeah, there are a lot of people I see over and over and over and over again. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> but there's also like nothing more exciting when you like get like the call sheet or whatever, and you, and you see, see your friend. Work. Yeah, and you yeah. know you're gonna be able to like, do a really good job. Yeah, that's that, so weird because like same. you, you, you and a circle of your friends are all filming together, but you guys are like going out to the clubs. <laughs> you guys are literally mm. hanging out, and to me, it would just be kind of weird. 
Oh, it's so fun. Let's just, I don't know, like me. Maybe it's more comfortable. That's how I make friends. Yeah. yeah. I have to fuck you first. <laughs> See, it's only and right. then we'll We're not friends, Michael friends. Boston. <laughs> um, but, but are you guys <laughs> fucking outside no. of the, the studio? De- Depends on who it is. Yeah. <gasps> See, like, I Any would... Hints? I have, no. We have <laughs> fucked off <laughs> of set before. Yeah. Not not for a scene, not for money, just in our personal no, lives after a scene. A but, like, I mean, now you have a girlfriend. I 100% respect that. Oh, and I would fiance. Not step, oh, fiance. Oh, oh my God. Congratulations. Sorry, congratulations. Yeah. So I would never step those boundaries. But, yeah. It, <laughs> It's Nothing means friends. anything until the piece of paper is signed. <laughs> we can't do the wedding because our family's in Wales, and Nothing. they won't come over here because the fucking oh, COVID. Oh, COVID! Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah that's buying you some time. I Can know. I come to your bachelor party? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let's go, Michael. No, See, I'm good. Like my bachelor party is gonna be the weirdest <laughs> thing because I'm like, what am I gonna do? Invite my friends over to strip for me? Like, oh yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah. weird. <laughs> it's more for the guys who are in the groom's party. It's like, yeah. here, see what yeah. I see every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's true That's though. Funny. I'm like, I'm gonna go over here and get a vodka soda and not be able to drive home. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. I hate to do this because this show has been so much fun, but we're on a very tight schedule because there's another show coming in right after ours. So, guys, tell all the people where they can find you. Me first? Yeah, go oh, for it. Oh, shit. You can find me at uh, YouTube at uh, Hanging with Nathan. You can find me at Twitter at Nathan underscore Bronson. You can find me at Instagram at Nathan Bronson 6.6.6. <laughs> you can find me. Just Google my fucking name. You'll find me somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> and it'll Bronson be fun. Straight porn. Yeah, it's Bronson yeah. straight porn. <laughs> Imogen. <laughs> Bronson, you guys can hope, but maybe. And then we can see if the more money comes my way. I don't know. <laughs> we'll start a GoFundMe. Yeah. Oh, my God. And Michael, tell the people where they can find you as well. Uh, Twitter is um, XXXMBoston. And then Instagram is Michael Boston with three S's. And Boston. then for extra list potential, baby. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, then uh, let's see, OnlyFans is OnlyFans.com slash Michael Boston. Love it. Nice. Thank you so much, uh, Alexander, for being here with me today. Thank you Always. so much so to much our fun. sponsors, through Fleshbot and CyberSocket. We appreciate you guys so much. And to everyone else, until next time, adios. Woo!